Hey guys, Hot Rod 08 here, and welcome to Support Patch Notes 8.2, where I will be going over the changes that affect support champions for each patch during Season 8, as well as providing a place for you guys to discuss the changes below. Now, before we start, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I'd love your support by subscribing, as I am coming out with multiple support-related videos a week, and would love to keep expanding this channel out. So to start this off, we are going to go over the biggest support changes to this patch, and that is the removal of Sightstone. Now, I have already gone over these changes in another video, which I will link in the description, but I'll go over a generalization of it in this video too. Basically, Sightstone is going to be removed, as well as Ruby Sightstone, uh, Frost Queen's Claim, Talisman of Ascension, and Face of the Mountain. Uh, their quest rewards have all been removed off the gold items as well and have been re replaced with the active effects of Sightstone. Along with this, the quest reward thresholds have been lowered from 750 to 500 gold. As for how this affects supports, I do believe this is going to be a good change to the support role overall as everyone now is going to have more money freed up from not buying Sightstone early. Um, but there's going to be some supports that benefit more from this than others. Uh, I do believe ASP supports like Brand and Zyre will receive the most buff from this patch as they will be able to build their penetration items faster, while tank supports like Tark and Leonor will get a slight nerf from this as they relied on Law of the Shield Passage from the Relic line, as well as their items uh, that they get first don't offer as much of a power spike as it does for the other support roles. Next, we'll go over Sona, which received a hefty nerf during the preseason, but now is getting a slight buff. They have lowered the cost for Q by 10 mana at all ranks, which I don't believe is going to be help her dramatically, but should help her out just a little bit during the laning phase. Next, we'll go over a few room pages in this patch. Within Resolve Tree, both Aftershock and Guardian have been changed. For Aftershock, the damage caused has been lowered from 40 to 140 to 10 to 120. The health scaling has been reduced uh, by half percent and return. Now it has a 15% AD and a 10% AP ratio for damage. And then finally, the resistances you used to get have been changed from a flat 20 plus 30% of your resistances to 70 to 120. As for Guardian, uh, the cooldown has been changed from 45 seconds to 70 to 40 seconds. The base shield has been increased from 60 to 150 to 70 to 150. And the ratios have been changed from 20 percent to 25 percent ap and from 10 percent to 12 percent bonus health for both of these rune changes they are going to nerf the laning phase of tank supports as they relied on both of these runes to have either insane protection or insane damage within the laning phases but both runes will will perform better as the game goes on for them finally we'll go over zombie ward and ghost poro Zombie Ward is getting a nerf on its duration from 180 seconds for the full game to 60 to 180 seconds, and the Ghost Poro's sight range is going to be increased from 350 to 450. And that'll be it for this video on patch 8.2. If you enjoyed this type of video, every two weeks I'm going to be coming out with the patch notes that are going to be affecting support players as well as other support related uh, videos and i'd love your subscription to the channel if you have any of your own comments to add to this patch please comment below and join in on the discussion rather than that you guys have a great day today thanks for watching bye